Let's see what I can do here with this stuff, I guess. Oh, it rained so hard the day I left. The weather, it was dry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama With a banjo on my knee Gee, you know, you can get away with almost anything you could... I mean, if you didn't understand the words to that, you'd think it was Gregorian chant, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Now, you know, you can make things out of nothing uh, anything can can sound uh, here oh first before i begin with this i have to assure you i i have no command whatever of latin other than the pig variety i hate latin everyone knows i hate latin i always have latin hebrew I don't like very many languages. Human languages I like the least, the very least of all. Always have, always will, Gabriel. And here's the reason for it. This is my Latin chant. It is Latin, all right, but it is Atenlay. So this is a, an ass in, an ass may in Atenlay. Brought to you, I reckly day, I may, ooh ye, o oh nay, ooh hey. Ear hey, e way, o gay, edi re, ore, at nay, oli, oli, oxen, free, oli, oli, oxen, free, oli, oli, oxen, free, oli, oli, oxen, free. Dominus, right? Dominus, Dominus. And then something like E Pluribus Unum or some such thing. E Pluribus Unum. And then they go on to say some other things, you know, the things you'd expect to hear in Mass. Uh, like uh, Pater Noster and uh, Nostradamus and so forth. Or I think it's Notre Dame. Yes, Notre Dame. I used to play for them. Notre Dame. See how close that is? Notre Dame, Nostradamus. I mean, it's so close you can mistake them for twins, Gabriel. Okay. So now here's another thing. This is what I'd like the third choir to do, Gabe. You ready? All right. Give us this day our... How does it go? How's the first thing goes? Let's see. It starts off with... Uh, uh, give us this day our daily... Our Father, of course. Our Father. <laughs> I forgot. All right. I don't know why I forget these things, Gabriel. I have no idea, just as I do not know, as my friend Jose Perez says, why in the hell we can't get Nova Scotia belly locks up here. 
No one knows that. Valerie Perrine, where are you? All right, I know where Bill Bixby is. He's here. Now, you remember Bixby, Bixby, don't you? Oh, God, now I've done it again. All right. Our Father, Richard in Heaven. Is that... No. Our Father, Richard in Heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily Goldberg's bread and rolls, and so forth. You know, just carry on the usual way, but he's given so much to the church, and uh, I just couldn't turn him down. Anyway, oh, sure, they'll, they'll accuse me of taking kickbacks, Gabriel, but I need money up here. You know I need some money up here. People don't understand how much it costs to run a universe. They never understand these things, Gabriel. I'm telling you, they have no compassion for what goes on here. Nothing. Om oh, It's all right. Sit around. Om oh, and so forth. I mean, on and on and on. This is what I do for a living, Gabriel. What I do for a living. Do you understand what I'm saying, Gabriel? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? You have all the fun. You go places. You do things. You travel. You get a travel allowance. I don't get a travel allowance because I don't travel, Gabriel. Yes, I know. I don't need anything. I don't need anything here. Nothing would ever. That's not the point. I don't have a travel allowance. I don't get an expense account. You get the expense account. You get the credit card. You get all the plastic. What do I get? I get all the stuff that isn't. Okay, Gabe, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> Here, I want the, um, let's see, the 11th and 12th choirs. Uh, they could try, why don't you have them do something more along the lines of, uh, yeah. Humani Padme Hum Humani Padme Hum Humani 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 Padme And so forth. That's the kind of thing that I can see hitting it big, Gabriel. Big. Remember the tune, okay? Because comes the 50s and 60s, people will love that kind of music. Well, it's probably too early for that now. Near zero. Oh no, I don't mean their year zero, Gabriel. I'm not talking about their year zero. Their year zero is something like our year, you know, 50 zillion, quadrillion, million, million. I don't know what these, can we have, do we have a name for that? Google, I hate the name Google. All right, a Google ago, and a Google that is yet to come. That's nothing here, Gabriel, there is no time. You know that, I know that, and everyone who is really knows that, but when they're not, they don't. You know what I'm saying, don't you, Gabriel? Gabriel. When you wake up, damn it, Gabriel, I say the most brilliant things and you pass out cold on the floor. Gabriel, never mind. Om Sorry, folks. Oh, oh, I lost that one. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, look at that world crumple. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, well. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, I, I, don't 
cut that out, Oz. I need those coughs in there. That is my objective test to see whether or not I'm, I'm, I'm getting through. It also was a test to see whether my, whether my throat has a frog in it. Now you may laugh. I once had a frog that had a man in its throat. So, didn't get a laugh here, but you should have heard what happened at the Palladium. It was all they could do to keep from cracking up out loud. Okay, so, uh, when you chant, you're a chanter all the way from your first cigarette to your last dying day. I mean, you have to think all in terms of chanting as, uh, from you, and rather than something, even being carried by your breath. Your breath and the sound are only things that actually support what you're really doing. What you're doing is sending your key, your force out, but you're sending it out uh, in, in much higher elevated planes, much higher elevated frequencies. But, um, I sound like, suddenly I, I could be, uh, well, you, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the way, the way that, the way that I uh, always have uh, uh, thought about this uh, uh, was that you should have a uh, strong intellectual grasp of the uh, uh, situation before you uh, uh, begin to uh, 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 move out of the uh, uh, body. And uh, I, uh, uh, for one, don't uh, 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 appreciate the out-of-body experience. Well, you know, some of us really do like an out-of-body experience. We'd like to have one. So if we can get on with the show, we all would appreciate the uh, induction for the out-of-body experience that we all came here to uh, enjoy. So uh, if we can have the out-of-body experience now, please, that would be very nice. Thank you very much. I remain yours truly. Uh, and uh, so forth and so on, Ben Franklin. <laughs> well, actually, Truman Capote, but it was close, very close. I don't think that we should uh, continue for uh, the following reasons. Uh, my uh, learned colleague here in the uh, Democratic... Uh, uh, just a moment now, uh, let, let's get a little bit of uh, order. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, point of order! So, when the point of order began everything, a line developed which extended out into infinity X amount of stuff. A second line was established between the third point and the previous two points. And then a fourth. Now, when you have one, two, three, four points, you have a pyramid. And if it's an equilateral, then you have a crystal. And if you have a crystal, then you have... So forth. But I'm not going to get into that right now because we really need to get into the induction. We need to get into it very, very rapidly. So if you lie back very, very slowly, lie back on your on your back, yes, on this marble slab I have here for you, my assistant will help you in a moment. In the meantime, we, we have to stop for a moment because I see that our director wants to have a word. We'll be back in one moment after this word from our sponsor. Listen very carefully to what he says because everything he says is important. Eh, okay, we're back now. And uh, there's a problem with the frequency. There we are. Okay, so that's fine. Oz, thanks. 
Now, um, so we were going to do an induction for an out of... Sorry about that. I didn't mean to start without you. Now, uh, we were going to have an out of body experience. Sorry about that. It happened again. All right. Uh, try to stay in here uh, with you for a while. Okay, please keep your hands inside your hands until the bus leaves the station, as it were. Thank you. Now, everyone stand more or less inside your body and kind of match yourself up to it. Good. Good, excellent job, excellent job. Now stand up straight and tall, straight and tall, real tall. Now you're going to get up on your tippy toes and you're going to reach as high as you can, just as high as you can. Reach up on your tippy toes. We're reaching up on our tippy toes, reaching up on our tippy toes, reaching as high as we can. Reaching as high as we can. Good. Now reach just a little bit higher. Yes, I thought you could. You see, that's what I mean about the amount of effort it's going to take to get out of body. You know, it's that little extra stuff you don't want to put out right now. So you put out what you say, what you claim is your best effort. But there's always a little more reserve that you've held back. So when I ask you to go out of body, don't hold back, just go ahead and do it. Now, I won't tell you that yet because uh, I want you to stay in your body for a few moments and kind of hold on to it, kind of stay in your body, try to really stick into your body and make yourself stay there, make yourself stay there, put an effort as you drift away, as you'll notice you do drift slightly in and out. As you drift away, just push yourself back in there. Force them, push yourself back in that body. Make yourself stay in there. And do that for about, oh, the next 30 seconds or so. Just push yourself back in. Push yourself back in. Push yourself back in. No, no, yeah, keep pushing yourself back in. Push yourself back in. Come on, keep pushing yourself back in the body. Back in the body. Back in the body. Good, keep pushing yourself back. Pretty soon I'm going to tell you to let go. Push yourself back in the body. Back in the body. Back in the body, almost now. Back in the body, a little bit more, and I'm going to tell you to let go. Back in the body, back, push, 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 let go. Now, that that works only momentarily. It doesn't get you out of the body a lot. It gets you out of the body just for a moment. But when you get that little flash out there, it shows you one of two, actually shows you two important things. It shows you that you can do it, and it shows you that nothing bad happened to you when you got back in. See? In other words, not that it's safe, but nothing did happen to you. Maybe you were lucky, maybe not. Let's see. Let's go out again. Push yourself into your body. Push yourself into your body. Just keep pushing. I'm not going to cue you. Just keep pushing yourself into your body until I give you the cue, until I give you the signal. Push yourself into your body. Keep pushing and pushing yourself into your body. Down and sideways and up. And just cram yourself into that body. Push, 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 push. From all sides now, from every side, every angle, top, bottom, sides. Cram yourself in. Push, push, push. Like a lot of pressure. Let that pressure push, push, push. More and more, more and more. Cramming in on you, jamming in on you. Let go. Just for a moment, you got bigger than your body, didn't you? Isn't that interesting? And it was safe, and now you're back. Okay. Now we're going to do another induction. This is a little bit, a little bit braver. I'm going to get you outside your body just a little bit more than that. I'm going to have you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Come on, close your eyes. You got to do it. You can't cheat this. You got to close your eyes. Okay. And you're going to trust your sensing. You're going to look through your face right at the, at the ground or at the floor. Right ahead of you. Just look right through your eyelids. So you can see it almost. Not completely, just a little bit. You can see kind of dim outlines. of the. the. Now move your head around. Don't open your eyes. Move your head around. And see how it kind of is a shadowy thing, little lumps of things. You can actually almost make out what they are. In fact, you can. 
if you know the place you're in. Make out what each of those shadowy lumps is. Now, at the moment, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, give you the signal. When I give you the signal, open your eyes. And as you open your eyes, you can be out of your body just for a moment. Then you can come back in. Ready? Open your eyes now. Isn't that a wonderful sensation? Now, we're going to get used to that sensation. And more and more, we're going to start liking that sensation. What I'm going to do with you now is I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of chanting. And as I do the chanting, I want you to go with me into a different space, a space in which each of the syllables of the chant is a rejection of rebirth in the lower worlds. So you're going to remain in the space of chanting. Whatever that space is, you're going to stay there. And you want to be there. You don't want to be anywhere else. There's nowhere else you'd rather be. You're just delighted to be there. And just be in that space of chanting, not having to go anywhere else, not having to do anything else, not having any other agenda, merely remaining in that space. And, and should it occur that that becomes your eternity, it has to be okay with you. That has to be an okay space to be in. So make that an okay space to be in, should that become an eternal space where you never can leave. What if you could never leave? What if you could never stop that? So, go into that with me, and I'd like you to chant with me. And the way that you chant is, each syllable is a rejection of a door, of a womb door. Om, that's one world. Ma, another world. Ni, it's another world, like the knights who say ni. Pad, another world. Me. And whom? So there are six worlds you're rejecting, both in samsaric and nirvanic forms. You're rejecting all the worlds of form, all the worlds of illusion, by pushing the womb doors away, using those sounds to push them away. Those sounds actually operate as if your hands were pushing. So you visualize your hands pushing away the womb door. And as they push the womb door away, each of those womb doors will present itself, the next womb door will present itself. So you push om, as if you're in free fall in space and you're in a space station and, and you, you're starting to fall through a doorway. So you push back om, and you push back when you go through the, the ma, ma, and then the door, ni, and push away. Me push away. Home push away. So you're you're pushing away. You're refusing rebirth in the lower worlds. Refusing it. Refusing refuge. And remaining in the clear light. And you're going to remain in that clear light, which is the chant, which is that sound, the Omani Padmi Home that is in that space, that is the clear light. And eventually all of that Om Mani Padme Hum, you notice that it goes in rounds, that each of the monks takes a turn uh, in the round, so that you, when you chant, when you yourself add your chant to this, try to fit it in with the rhythm of the chant. There is a rhythm, and the rhythm can be found. And when it can be found, you will find your own place in that rhythm and in that sound. And that's where you should be. You should find your place and fit yourself into the jigsaw puzzle of that beautiful mandala, which is the sound. If you could visualize the sound, it would be a, like a mandala. It would be visually very beautiful, like a, like a scintillating snowflake in all directions. And that's what the man, that's what mantra is. That's what the, the, the sound is actually created by, and is creating its own form, its own life form, thought form, formlessness form. So that burst of radiance is maintained in a round form. Om mani pa om mani pa om mani pa om. In other words, each one starts in as the other one has left the station. Do you follow? Om mani pa me. And when they get to that point, the next person starts in Om mani pa me. Like uh, row 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 your boat. You don't all start at the same time, do you? It's a round. 
So you can chant in the round, as it were, the same way you chant it as a round. That is the primary purpose of having many chanting, although there are some so skilled that they can sound as if there is no break. The idea is to keep the wheel turning, and so uh, you can use the silences as well, but if, ideally, you want to keep the wheel turning by keeping the chant going. And as one monk drops dead, another one takes a, the place of that monk. So, in other words, that it's all self-perpetuating. It's self-feeding, and, and it is a perpetual motion machine. 